hi viewers welcome back to the channel my name is Marcy if you're new subscribe make sure that uh, you check around see if there's anything that you like I have been doing a series which is about women uh, well not necessarily women because I've also had one or two men that I've talked to but I'm talking up to people who have their day job and then they have their passion project and uh, today I am very privileged to talk to my friend Brenda hi Brenda hi Mercy how are you <laughs> I'm fine <laughs> So, Brenda and I are currently getting ready for our Networking in Hills event. That's correct. And uh, we decided let's uh, take this opportunity to talk about Brenda's passion. So, Brenda, can you tell us a bit about yourself before we talk about your passion? Of course. First of all, my name is Brenda. Uh -huh. I am um, originally from Guyana, South America. And um, I've taken up residence in Switzerland since 1997. I work as a senior executive assistant wow. at a multinational wow. organization in Geneva yeah. and um, I'm married. I have one son and I have two grandkids. Wow. And please, I'm not a grandma, I'm a grand diva. Okay. Uh -huh. Nice, grand diva. <laughs> and, um, okay. I'm happy to be here with you at your, your event this evening. Oh, thank you so much. So, um, when and I met at the Executive Assistance Association, I keep telling you people, join associations for your professionals because it's good for you. You get to meet awesome people. Then you get to see people who are actually doing things which are also they are passionate about. That so Brenda, great. tell us about your passion. Alrighty, so my passion happens like since four years ago. I'd like to call myself, it's not yet official, mm -hmm. but I'm a Christmas stylist. Nice. Like I design custom-made Christmas tree. It's a seasonal business and I've been doing it for the last four years. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, I'm doing it on a rental basis yeah. where the client, all they need to do is have their Christmas tree, the light, and then I come with the decorations. Mm -hmm. And that is, of course, based on the theme, whatever they've chosen, if they want traditional or rustic or whatever. I come with the decoration, I customize and decorate the Christmas tree for them. Yeah. And then at the end of the season, I return, I take take everything down wow. and I take the decorations back. So okay. if you're that person who wants <laughs> every year to have a different look, I'm your girl. I absolutely love this idea because you know what I've been doing the last few years? I've been exchanging with my friends. I'm like, okay, you are, you are blue last year, right? So this year I want red and then we exchange. <laughs> That's <what's> fabulous. <laughs> because I got tired of the fact that every year my tree the looks same, the same. Yes. And I love Christmas. Do you love Christmas? Of course <laughs> I love Christmas because it's even a love coming from a form of rebellion because where I come where I'm coming from in the Caribbean mm. we didn't have a Christmas tree and if we had one it was plastic mm -hmm. of course now with sustainability and all of that we realize that to put the trees down and all of that so now plastic or, or not really plastic or whatever they're using to make them now is so in yeah. and I always enjoy Christmas time it's when you know you you're looking forward to be at home with your parents and yeah. your siblings and exactly. what little gifts you can receive if any at all uh -huh. and um, the rebellion part Part of it is because that I really wanted so much as a kid from for Christmas for myself and because of our, of our situation that didn't happen yeah and since I became an adult and I have my own coins <laughs> I was like I'm decorating and I'm going all out and I'm gonna share something with you mm -hmm. I decorate my Christmas my home for Christmas yeah from November uh -huh. until 31st of January oh my Yes, that I do. is that is awesome. Yes. I used so, to I used to decorate a bit earlier, but then now I have a son born in end of November, uh -oh. so he kind of spoils everything. Oh. So we have to decorate on the first of December. <laughs> no, I start from as soon as Mariah Carey says it's time. I go. <laughs> I go and I get decorated. That is lovely. Viewers, if you're young and your parents don't seem to have uh, done you right by whatever, you know, kids rebel always feel like we failed them, exactly. right? Rebel when you're an adult. And when you're an adult, you make out. your own money and rebel. Make your own money and wear whatever you want. Exactly. You know? And decorate however you want and from whenever you want. <laughs> Oh, don't give someone ideas. They'll start decorating in March. No. <laughs> Come on, guys. Well, you can call me. 
<laughs> okay. So, um, your day job is an executive assistant. That is correct. Does, do you have any skills? <laughs> What is it that you use for your current uh, job that uh, you feel like is transferable with your passion? That's a great question. And this is coming from what I've learned from my previous boss. Mm -hmm. She always says, Brenda, success is 80% preparation, 20% mm -hmm. execution. Mm -hmm. I do that with my daily job mm -hmm. and with my job that I'm doing as a Christmas tree stylist. Mm -hmm. I prepare a lot in advance. So when D-Day comes and I have to go to the client's home to do the decoration, like you saw today I was doing the Christmas tree and you were like, why you did it in such short time? This is because I prepared already. I came with all my things already sorted out. Yeah. So this is something I transferred from my, my regular job as an executive assistant to mm. what I'm doing now as my passion, my hobby and all of that. So I know that to have a, a good smooth execution of whatever i'm doing i need to prepare first and then everything will go all right so one of the things that i told uh, my viewers when i was telling them about having a passion and a job i said your, your the stakeholders are mostly your family members your husband your children they need to be supportive right we were having this conversation that about is, how your husband that is so had true. to sacrifice his saturday to that bring your so hair true. <laughs> and if you're watching yes you were trying to give me grass but you still brought me thank you darling <laughs> But yeah, so how how important is the family support for but, doing your passion? Alrighty, so for my case, it's just my husband and I at home, so yeah. we're empty nesters. Uh -huh. So then it's only him I have to deal with. But at the same time, this goes across the board for if you have kids or mm -hmm. whoever, you have to have your non-negotiables. Yeah. Like he knows that I'm going to work nine to five, Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. You have to already for your business, set aside your time mm -hmm. and let that be your non-negotiable. Let yeah. your loved one knows on Saturdays between 12 and three, mm -hmm. I'm going to be devoting time for my business. So don't come asking, can we go to the supermarket now? or can we do this no saturday is the time i'm focusing on my business mm -hmm. nine to three mm -hmm. and then you let me do what i have to do and then after or maybe it's every wednesday in the afternoon you mm -hmm. need like two hours to work on your business call clients mm -hmm. do things like that so you have to have your non-negotiables exactly. and this is one that i'm really strict with with my husband when i have my time set out to work on my business mm -hmm. please can you do something else <laughs> So if you have a young lady who's watching or a young gentleman who's watching because you're a mother of a boy, we mm -hmm. cannot ignore that boys also need mentoring. If you have um, a young person who's watching and they have a passion that they love, something artistic, but then they're stuck. Well, I would say stuck because some people feel like they're stuck in the job they have. People have to pay bills mm -hmm. and maybe your passion cannot pay your bills yet. What would you advise them when they want to try doing both? Firstly, you need to be, you have to be sure that you're passionate about this thing and not that you're going into it because somebody is doing it mm -hmm. or it looks lucrative because mm -hmm. trust me, at the beginning, the money would not be coming in. So you have to be 2000% really passionate about whatever hobby or whatever business you're mm -hmm. trying to get into. Exactly. And once you have that passion, mm -hmm. there is nothing can take you, can derail you from, you know, from whatever you're planning to do and you just need to stay focused yeah. and w another thing is try to get mentors find somebody who probably has done it before mm -hmm. or is doing it because i this is what where i like to quote the americans because i follow all the christmas tree designers i follow mm -hmm. they're from the u.s yeah. and they said it's a community it's not competition yeah. find somebody who's doing the similar thing mm -hmm. speak with them and try to understand and you know and don't ever give up and don't be discouraged if the road gets a little bumpy because as long as it's a passion and you love it doesn't matter what comes your way you're gonna go for it great yeah that is awesome that is such a i can't even think of anything else to add that's such a perfect place to finish that anything else will just spoil it exactly <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you so much do you have anything else you want to add i don't want to cut you off in case you have something else you want to add no i just want to let you guys know you can find me on instagram at designer decor i will yes. add her exactly. link on the bio I'm here in Switzerland. I work within the Geneva and Canton Vaux. And if you want to 
fly me out or drive me out all the way to Zurich to do your chalet. I'll be more than happy. And I'm very passionate about Christmas. And I'm sure you will see a few um some of my work if you come and visit my um my Instagram page. Okay. Thank you very much, Mercy. Thank you so much, Brenda, for sharing your experience.